percentage of completion is an accounting method of work in progress evaluation for recording long term contracts. GAAP allows another method of revenue recognition for long term construction contracts, the completed contract method. When to use, the accounting for long-term contracts using the percentage of completion method is an exception to the basic realization principle. This method is used wherein the revenues are determined based on the costs incurred so far. The percentage of completion method is used when, collections are assured, the accounting system can, estimate profitability, measure progress towards completion. Losses are recognized in the year when they are discovered the same way as for the completed contract method. The balance sheet presentation is the same as in the completed contract method. Formulas used, revenues and gross profit are recognized each period based on the construction progress, in other words, the percentage of completion. Construction costs plus gross profit earned to date are accumulated in an asset account, and progress billings are accumulated in a liability account. Construction in progress are generally not classified as inventory as it would not be in line with IAS 2.9. Although the formula for recognizing income in the current period can vary, a widely accepted one is as follows. Where The number of periods lapsed since the inception of the contract. The expected length of the contract. The current period. Examples, for example, Let's say our total estimated cost for the contract is $10,000 and our contract value is $12,000. We know that project will be completed in two years. Now, after the first year we see that total cost incurred in this first year is $3,000. So according to the percentage of completion method, cost percentage equals 3,000 10 thousandths equals 30%. So we will recognize 30% revenue in the income statement for the first year. Income statement of Anant Purohit Corporation Private Ltd for the year ended on XXZZZZ, in the next year, some more complicated parts enter the game. Let's say that after completion of the second year, our expected cost changes to 11,000. Assume our cost to date is 5,500. The percentage completed is 5,500 slash 11,000 equals 50%. Thus, the revenue to be recognized as a euro 3,600 equals 2,400. Income statement of Anant Purohit Corporation Private Ltd for the year ended on XXZZZZ plus 1. Now let's say that for the next year, our total cost estimation is increased to 15,000 due to increases in raw material and labor costs. We know that we are going to incur a loss of 3000 at the end of the contract period. For the third year, our cost to date reaches 10500, so according to POC, percentage completion equals 10500/15000 equals 70% revenue equals 70% of 12000 a euro previously recognized equals 8400 a euro 6000 equals 2400. However, because we are going to have a total loss of 3000 on the contract, we must recognize the total loss in the period it is estimated. As a result, our cost of goods will be 5900. We reach this inductively by figuring the sales and the loss before the cost of goods. Income statement of Anant Purohit Corporation Private Ltd for the year ended on XXZZZZ plus 2, in final year. Our cost is 4,500 and revenue is 3,600. But we record only 3,600 in cost of goods because we already recognized the total loss in the last period. Total profit loss from the contract equals 600 100 minus 3,500 equals 3,000 net loss. Disclosures As per IAS 11.42 43, an entity shall present a the gross amount due from customers for contract work as an asset, and b. the gross amount due to customers for contract work as a liability. These should be separate line items on the face on the balance sheet. The gross amount due from to customers for contract work is the net amount of a. costs incurred plus recognized profits, less b. the sum of recognized losses and progress billings for all contracts in progress. External links, percentage of completion method at answers.com.